Vamos a Colombia for a week of, well, exploring Colombia. We're gonna go to a hostel where there's a paragliding hill. Yeah! yeah. Let's do this. <laughs> We've been on the road like 20 minutes. I had a lot of water. Generally, I'm all about the Jamaican food, but the hot dogs are pretty bad. And Sam's Club in Mexico is one of the few places that you can get a true beef hot dog. Mexico City Airport, and the only parking, the only parking is short. It's not for, you know, the cops like whistling at me as I'm trying to park and figure out what's going on. And I just let him whistle at me. And finally he came over and I'm like, hey, I need parking. And he's like, well, it's only the garage. And I'm like, great. We have to keep this in mind when we travel. The van is muy grande, compadres. So we actually went and we found this private parking lot that's nearby that has a shuttle to the airport. We think we got it, but we'll let you know if we get there. They're playing videos of pretty people to make us want to follow the security procedures. Oh, red eyes! It must be a red eye flight. You're gonna see the wings? Yeah. Okay, you see the wings when we land. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. sucked into those. There's the cleaning crew. All right, well, we landed our first flight in uh, Bogota, and now we gotta go on to Boca, Boca Moranga. Um, it was just a rigmarole, like switching from the international flight, going through immigration, nothing like uh, dealing with the, the Nazis at US immigration, but uh, it's just show your passport, you know, go here, go there. It's ridiculous, all this, all this border, restriction, travel restriction. It's all fake security. It does nothing to protect anyone. It's all BS. And frankly, uh, it ticks me off because I see a lot of the world trying to copy the US because we kind of foist it on the world. Like, oh, this is security, this is security. It's not security. It's not safety. It's not freedom. On the upside, there's no TSA. There's just, there's just normal, like, you know, you go through a security check, it's private, and uh, that's what you do. So uh, on, it is, it is a lot different. It's a lot different. But okay, we're gonna get the next flight and we're gonna head to Boca Moranga. So what is it? A paperwork. It's paperwork? What's it telling you? Um, it tells you get your... Okay, we made it to Boca Moranga. We have our luggage. Everything came in. Look, small airport, uh, one runway, and when they hit that runway, they reverse those engines hard. All right, but well, we got the stuff. Our paragliders got here, uh, and uh, we're ready to rock this. Put signs that says no riding the conveyor. For obvious reasons, because that's kind of what I want to do right now. Everybody set? Yep, I am very squished. <laughs> at the nest one of colombia's premier paragliding sites and this this has got to be the best view lot in all of bucamaranga it's right here we are literally like overlooking the city and and right on this hill right on the other side of the trees here is where we launch from and if you look down ride down the hill go check out the town Hey. Wake up. Is it some kind of route or something? I'm sure somebody watching probably knows. 
Okay, so we got some food. Uh, we're kind of all at the stage right now because we got like two hours of sleep since we left, which has been, I don't know, 48 hours ago? No, can't be that long. Not that long. Anyways, we got like two hours of sleep last night. So the brains are kind of running on E. We found a uh, cafe. It's Colombian cafe. You know, I think they think I'm crazy here because I ask for things in coffee that gringos do, right? And they're like, eh, okay. You gotta remember, we're here in Colombia, which is as far away from the Washington state I escaped from as, as uh, Central Mexico is, right? I mean, we've doubled that distance coming down here to Colombia. And so while it's Latino culture, it's, it's still different. The accent is different. I think, look, you guys know my Spanish sucks pretty bad. But I think, I think they misunderstand me even more in Colombia, if that's even possible. But I got coffee, that's what counts. Now I gotta go try and get some cell phone service down here because, well, I don't have any. So yeah, I'm gonna have to get a new SIM card. Fruit and huegos. Here is the launch field right here, launch field right out over Kumaranga. And uh, it's a good looking, good looking launch site here. Uh, it's not huge, but it's it's got a nice green space right out over the jungle here. And uh, down there, down there is, is your main LZ right in there. It's a little cycly and I'm new to the site and I don't want to screw anything up and end up landing in the jungle, landing in the jungle, because the word is that that is a heck of a lot of work if you do that. So I'm just taking my time. So they're actually closed, but we called ahead and they're going to open and cook. Bueno. The Scottish guy always knows where to find the good food. So they're actually closed, but we called ahead and they're going to open and cook. Bueno. Hola. 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 Can you say hi? Hola. It's legit right there, open flame. Loads of meat, salad, potatoes. It's just like a giant heap of meat that they bring. What do you think, Anna? Bueno. Good, we finished lunch, it was amazing. They made it right here for us in the kitchen, even though they were closed today. It was uh, muy rico. <laughs> muy rico. <laughs> Gracias, senor. Okay, get the kids, they want a photo. Look, there's where they cook the food. There's our Argentinian family in Colombia making amazing food. Get a photo of yourself? That is getting photos with the locals. You have to see. Look at that. They got us a papaya. They grow them right here on the trees. How cool is that? Look at that. There's the papaya tree. And there's the ripe. Don't drop it. Okay, be careful. Precaution. It's a cocoa bean. And then they get like beans out of it. I'm guessing that's a pod of some kind. And then they get the beans out of it. Wait, is this one ripe? I don't know. I don't understand cocoa well enough to know. So, you can at least pick one. no, let's so, leave it there because it'll just kick well, around and you won't be able to use it. Looks right. Colombian hospitality that you hear about, where they're just like it's like they're your family by the end of the meal, and the food was, oh, they took pretty good care of you, didn't they? And you got a papaya too, which is nice, isn't it? Anything else to say? Tired? It's just cansado. Need a little nap? Yeah, I think so. Maybe we all need a nap. This, so this, this is not thing? a Haas, what, this because the Haas is the small one yeah. in Colombia. No, this, I don't know, but this is different, yeah. Did somebody play? They have, you have wild avocados. Yeah. Wow. Prince of Bel Air. Prince of Bel Air in Spanish? Hostel. It's like 10 o'clock at night now. There's not many people here. There's there's uh, Terry's out sleeping in the bunkhouse. But uh, so at the hostel, you just pretty much like you rent a room, and depending on the night, there may not be very many people here. So like right now, 
even though we're renting two rooms in the hostel, there's nobody else in the house. So we actually have just a whole house to ourselves, which is, which is pretty cool. Uh, and different than a bed and breakfast, I guess I would say, and it's kind of way more, it's a little more chill. Everybody just has their rooms and they're just hanging out and living in the house, right? Kids got the balcony, they're out here sleeping, even though technically that's their room. And, uh, you know, so there's different rooms in the morning. Uh, Sarita comes and makes breakfast and stuff like that. So they're, during the day, of course, people are, are in and out. There's uh, Ukamuranga down down below there. Is Titus getting forced? Ya vamos terminando. <laughs> ya vamos terminando. Vamos terminando. First flight in, looking good out there. Uh, it was it was a little more bumpy because it's more of a thermic site, and I'm used to more like the dynamic lift in Utah. But uh, it was good. It's beautiful, and got in the air for the first time actually since I escaped the USA. That that was cool. It's on toys. Yeah, the conference. Wait for cars, there's motos everywhere, all kinds of street food along here. And okay, let's let's go. Where I guess. It's often though. Lots going on. What's this? Apple Cafe. We're doing Coke and fancy lemonade and fancy coffee and fancy smoothie and latte with Colombian coffee and where's yours, Titus? What did you order? It's she's bringing it? Chocolate milk. <laughs> okay, we found street pizza. That's pretty good, actually. You guys want some? Let's go to that pizza. This pizza looks good. Yeah. Street pizza is good. That one looks good. It's a very large. What is it? Yes. It looks like, that looks like poil. See, I know. Oh. Okay. This one has yeah. meat, sausage. Yeah. You see pepperoni? Okay. We got an Uber and we are headed back to the nest. <laughs> the police and the assistant. Juan? Where are you going? Hey, Swan? What are you doing? And Okay, remember just to come over it on the right and then start doing those figure eights so that you're comfortable and, and working on the end of the field. Every time I let you look at a puppy, you always ask me the same question. That's because sometimes you're a potty pooper. <laughs> yep, up, vamos. Did you say piece of Auto. Pizza floor. Is piso is piso floor? Yes. How do you know? Because I happy. just know. No. Oh, figures. Si 
if we can find thunder, some of those. Columbia closed. Get out there for her. You're amigo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looking good. Run hard. Keep it going. Good girl. Looking good, looking good. Good girl. and then we'll go from there. You can see the square here in the daylight. It's still very bustling. Even on a Monday, it looks like market day. We'll go down here afterwards. Hola, soy mi compadre en Estados Unidos. <laughs> So the girl at the booth there, did you guys notice like she was working it, like we rolled up. Did you notice? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hola, YouTube. Hola, YouTube. Hola, YouTube.